I have the pleasure of presenting uh, the Mayor's City Builder Award to two exceptional individuals in our community today because our, our meeting uh, a little while ago was cancelled. Uh, we have a special ceremony of the City Builder Award today. Each of the recipients uh, honored today personifies uh, the qualities of a city builder. Recognizes uh, people who have demonstrated an extraordinary commitment to making our city a better place through volunteerism and exemplary action. I'm pleased to extend uh, a warm welcome to the family, friends, and associates of our honored guests who are here today. It's a pleasure uh, at this time to invite Lynn Stacy to come forward and please to uh, welcome Councillor Matt Luloff and Cumberland Councillor Stephen Blay to join us for the presentation. So, Ms. Stacy, nice to have you here. And Mr. Stacy, a former councillor in Cumberland, good to have you and uh, members of your family as well. There's Matt, and they're sharing you. They're, they're, uh, Lynn Stacy has been volunteering and contributing in her community for literally decades, and she is the epitome of a city builder. As a longtime resident of the East End, Lynn has been involved in many organizations as a tireless volunteer who always has time to help those in need. Her enthusiasm and her willingness to work on community initiatives inspires others and brings the community closer together. Pal so uh, enthusiastic. Her enthusiasm and her willingness to work on community initiatives inspires others and brings the community closer together. Lynn has been a Girl Guide leader and a pianist at Queenswood uh, Heights Church for 40 years. She organized the Cumberland Community Singers in 1992 and then set up the Crosstown Youth Chorus 20 years ago. She is the choir manager and treasurer and has organized the Orleans Choir Fest for the last 33 years with proceeds from the event going to local food banks. Lynn is a founding member of the Navin Curling Club, a Legion member, and she runs four pool classes each week for cancer and physio clients. She ran a safe home for 15 years to help youth who had run away from home, and she is still a host family for the Rotary Club's annual Adventure and Citizenship Program, which uh, is a great uh, annual tradition here in Ottawa. Uh, Lynn has done so much for the community for so many years. She was recognized with the Governor General's Caring Canadian Award in 2007. Depuis plusieurs années, Lynn apporte beaucoup de la communauté et en. And in 2007, she received the Governor General's Caring Canadian Award. Community and her city, and continues to use her talents to make a difference. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Lynn for her many contributions uh, to the entire community. J'aimerais cesser. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Lynn for her many contributions to the community. My pleasure on behalf of Councillor Blay and Councillor Luloff to present you with uh, the Mayor's City Builder Award. Thanks for all you do. Really appreciate it. First of all, thank you very much, Mayor. Very, uh, I am very, very honored. <clears throat> I also want to <clears throat> thank my family and friends for coming over there. <laughs> and there is a proverb that's out there that is very indicative of all volunteers for the whole city of Ottawa. And this is what it says. It is your attitude and not your amplitude that helps you to reach your altitude. Thank you very much. That's a great saying. Thank you very, very much, Lynn. Thank you, councillors, and thank you, Lynn and uh, family. 
I'm now pleased to welcome Dylan Black to the podium along with uh, Ward Councillor for Canada South uh, Alan Hubley and College Ward Councillor Rick Shirelli. Welcome Dylan and Councillors Hubley and Shirelli. Also sharing Dylan uh, today. Now, there's probably not many people in the city that don't know Dylan Black from his uh, work as um, a successful television host and radio host and his great community activism because he truly is a city builder. And it's a pleasure to recognize him on behalf of our colleagues on City Council, Dylan. Uh, for, and there's Max. Max is happy. <laughs> A chance encounter with Max Keeping in 1995 inspired him to move to Ottawa and become involved with radio broadcasting. Now in addition to being a talented and engaging personality at Boom FM and the host of Daytime Ottawa at Rogers TV, which I never get invited on by the way, but I'll, I'm not bitter. Um, <laughs> he's a humanitarian and a philanthropist who supports many, many great causes. That meeting with Max Keeping inspired his enthusiasm to serve his community, and Dylan now spends much of his time attending and hosting charitable events, and I know because I see him at dozens of them every month. He's a dedicated supporter of CHEO and has participated in 21 telethons. Dylan is the Director of Community Events and Fundraising at Yuck Yuck's Comedy Club, and he continues to be a huge supporter of the Children's Wish Foundation and the Max Keeping Fund at CHEO. He's raised more than $15,000 through various uh, Movember campaigns and more than $3,700 for the Breast Cancer Society of Canada through Boom Radio. His annual birthday extravaganza has collected close to $10,000 for various charities, including Tyson's Mission to a Million. And Tyson uh, made the, that, um, that lofty goal, which was great in large part thanks to Dylan. Dylan is an honorary board member of Ability First Ottawa and served as the 2018 Honorary Chair for the TELUS Walk for the Cure, a title he's held for four years. In 2015, Dylan was presented with a United Way Community Builder Award. And in 2017, he was nominated as Best Community Builder and MC of the Year. That same year, he received the Max Keeping Award for Ottawa Humanitarian of the Year and was awarded the prestigious Chorus Show We Care Award. He's a true community builder, a city builder, and continues to make a huge difference in, the peop in people's lives in and around our community. He's always ready to lend his support to a good cause and, in and assist in any way he can. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Dylan for his many, uh, many contributions to the entire community. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Dylan for his many contributions to the entire community. <laughs> okay, all right, well, whew. Uh, first of all, thank you very much, Mayor Watson. Thank you very much, Councillor Hubley and uh, Councillor uh, Shirelli. And I can say that, um, that uh, Rick Shirelli and uh, Jim Watson have two things in common. They met my son, Max, in a food court for the first time. So that's, that's kind of a, just a little fun, fun note for your Twitter right there. Okay, so <laughs> I do want to thank, um, uh, obviously, a bunch of people for uh, allowing this to happen. And uh, first of all, my employers, because I truly believe without them, through my 22-year career in uh, radio and TV, I wouldn't have the platform that I have to go out into the community and, and do what I do. So thank you very much. My team from Boom 99.7 is here. Course Entertainment, thank you. I know that uh, Rogers TV is broadcasting this right now, so thank you very much to uh, Rogers Communications. And Howard with Yuck Yucks is here as well, and he allows me to do many great things for our community. Uh, I did start back in high school uh, when I was student council president, and uh, uh, Jim mentioned um, Max Keeping, and uh, Max drove all the way in from Ottawa to MC our variety show that year, and we raised thousands of dollars for the food bank. And it did spark something inside me. And um, all these years later, um, I just love getting out there and making a difference any way I can. And into my 30s, I'm 41 now, I started thinking, uh, you know, a lot of people sometimes walk the earth and wonder what their purpose is. And mine is just to do what I can to get out there every day and make a difference. And 
Uh, at the end of the day, you can say you did it or you didn't do it. And any time somebody asks me to be somewhere, I try to do my best to say yes and, and be there. So I just think that's important to be a yes person. Uh, my family is here as well, including little Max. And uh, if I can just say one uh, quick mention about Max, things did change definitely when he was born July 11th, 2017, because now I feel like I'm trying to leave a legacy behind every time I do something. And uh, so little Max can be proud of daddy someday. So thank you very much for coming, everybody, and I appreciate this. Thank you.